Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today I want to talk a little bit about singing for people who can't sing. Now, uh, I definitely feel like I fall into that category. I can kind of sing. I'm not trying to just be really modest, but I'm definitely not a singer. I've sung in bands before, but I'm, you know, I don't have a great sounding voice and I'm cool with that because mainly I sing as a tool, you know, and I've sung backing vocals in, in gigs for a long time. Uh, and I think it's, it's, there's a lot of value to learning to be able to sing. It's great, obviously, for singing backing vocals. It's really good for transcribing, being able to hear a note, sing a note, and then keep singing it while you try and find it on the guitar neck and that kind of thing. But there's a lot of people really scared of even making a start. They're worried that they're tone deaf or that they just can't sing or they're embarrassed to sing. So I just wanted to give a few tips to people who uh, may be starting off on that adventure and, and some things that you might like to try out that can help a little bit. And the first thing is when you first start having a go at singing, try and find a place where there's no one around to listen to you. And it's not partly for them, but partly for you as well, because the last thing that you need is your wife or your kids or something really ripping the mickey out of you for not being able to sing when you start, because a lot of singing is about confidence and if you don't start to get confident in your singing it's never really going to work very well so you need to develop some sort of confidence in in the ability to pitch and the ability to sing and make a noise at all so that would be my first thing is try and find a little space where you're on your own and you don't have to worry about people hearing you um, before you make a start actually vocalizing anything and the first step the first thing that you want to do is trying to sing a note and I know this sounds, might sound, for any of you that can sing, it might seem a little bit odd, but I've seen lots of times over the years when I've tried to encourage a student to sing that they really struggle just to find a note at all. So what you want to do is just try and find a note, say, on the, you know, on the fifth or fourth string. Just any note. I'll pick, I'll pick this note. It's the note C. But it doesn't really matter. And then see if you can sing it. So la, la. Now, you might be the first time you go la, 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 la. And, and you have to spend a little bit of time to try and find the note, and that's okay. If you're new to something like this, you can't expect to be singing in tune straight away perfectly. With all, It's just probably pretty unrealistic, frankly. So just try finding a few notes. Actually, I've done this before, so I'm guessing, but it might well be for you. It might be la, 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 la. And you're trying to find where it's la, hear you've got to learn to hear when it's in tune as well that's part of the game okay so trying to find where it's in tune sometimes you'll hear a harmony uh, uh, you might do that uh, and it, it's not the same note so in harmony uh, 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 Okay, so you could sing a harmony with your guitar, but that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be just trying to find the... You get the difference? It's exactly the same note. If it's a harmony... It sounds exactly the same. Okay? You're not trying to do anything fancy with it. Just find the note and sing it. And a, a, a good Doing five minutes of that will be really beneficial. Okay, so... La, la, check it. La, 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 la. You know, it, it, don't stress if it's not really happening for you, okay? That's, it's a really, really important uh, stepping stone is just to develop the confidence to play a little bit, okay? Just to find the right note. And the next thing, the kind of the next step along from doing that will be trying to find from one note to another note. And that's what we're going to be mainly basing this particular ear training course on, is going to be going from one note to another note. Okay? It takes some practice, but you want to be thinking, it's all going to be kind of song-based. So if we've got one note, and we're looking for the major second interval, that's happy birthday, okay? So happy, you need to get that note first. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Now you want to try and concentrate on making sure that it's in tune, but don't worry about the tone of your voice and all of that sort of stuff, because that's the kind of stuff that proper singers need to think about, okay? Particularly for me, you know, the, the criticisms I have of myself when I'm trying to sing is the way that I end notes or trying to hit a note and then I go end up going a little bit flat and that kind of thing. That's not what you want to be thinking about at this stage. You just want to be thinking about 
finding the first note and then being able to sing up another note. Da, la, da. And then check it all. Uh, do, da. Oh, the, 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 the major third is uh, when the saints. Oh, when the saints. Oh, when. Or, or old anxiety. Da, 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 da. So we're going to be going through each one of these different intervals with a song. And the idea is that you're going to practice singing one note and then getting to another note. Okay, it's a really, really powerful exercise for lots of different reasons, particularly if you're learning to do it on the guitar at the same time. Okay, super duper powerful, but it's really good for your singing, but you're not going to be able to do it very effectively unless you're singing as well. So I've got to encourage you at this point to have a go. There's nothing to be worried about. No one's going to get hurt. You know, you, you might upset your cat maybe if it's really bad, but you know, they'll get over it and you'll find that you can get yourself in tune after a little while as well. So. It, it really is that simple as a starting point. Don't, don't be trying to worry about other stuff because there are lots of other thing, elements that you can worry about later on. But to start off with, just try and develop the sense of being able to sing a note and recognize when you've got the right note, okay? It might take you a little while. Don't, again, just because I've told you, oh, you know, don't sing a harmony, sing the root note. It's like, well, I don't know if I'm singing the harmony. Keep trying because you will fight. You'll, you'll notice when you're singing the right note it sounds the same. And I'm not, I know this might sound patronizing or simple, but it's not. It's, for a lot of people, it's difficult. You know, it was really difficult for me as well. I, didn't, I wasn't a natural singer. I really struggled because I kind of joined a band and they wanted me to sing backing vocals. I'd never sung before and I just had to kind of figure it out. And it was pretty rough, to be honest. I'm glad they kind of put up with me learning how to figure it out, you know. But I got there and then eventually I ended up singing in a band kind of by accident, but, you know, uh, you're probably glad you never made those gigs. But um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to encourage you to, to get have a go at singing and don't be scared of it. And you might find that it leads you to a really nice place where you can sing and you're, you're happy and confident enough to sing in public and, and, and put it out there when you, when you go to a barbecue and go, yeah, let's do this song and, and take it away and sing it and not be shy about it. You know, I think that's that would be a great place to get to. But just start small thinking about singing one note and then join me for the course where we're going to learn to sing lots of different intervals. It'll really be amazing uh, for your singing journey. So I really hope that gets you started and I'll see you for plenty more very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.